If you want to make your own 3D character in Blender, this tutorial is for you. The first thing you should do is to add a reference image. This image is useful because it can define the proportions of the character. If you make the character without a reference image, it will be difficult to determine the actual proportions and the character won't look natural. That's the reason I suggest you to add the reference image. Because I have drawn a simple sketch of the character that I would like to make in 3D. Without that image, I would have no idea what the final character will look like. Make sure to also draw the side of the character. So, let's begin with the character modeling. First of all, there are many ways to model characters in Blender. The first way is by adding multiple cubes. You can add multiple cubes that will be used as a simple 3D sketch that will be modified according to the reference image. This is a good starting point if you want a fast way to model a character with multiple models. But because those are some very basic cubes that are scaled and rotated according to the character reference, you need to modify them by going to edit mode and then you would have to add various modifiers after finishing the actual look of the models. Because you would like the arms and legs to be mirrored, then you would have to use mirror modifier. You would like to make the entire model smoother, use subdivision surface modifier. Those are some basics. So, the second way you can make a character in Blender is by sculpting. Create a simple cube and add subdivision surface modifier. Set level's viewport setting to 3 or 4 and place it anywhere on the character. In the previous video I was talking about sculpting, various shortcuts that you can use for sculpting and all the tips that are required for making organic models. In order to modify the model by dragging, use G on your keyboard. Now you can move any part of the model and define the shape of the character. I have made many characters simply by using drag tool and the result was amazing. So here's how you can do the same with this character. Ok, so you need to add a cube and subdivision surface. This is how it looks like. You can now add multiple models that will be part of the sculpture. You can also play with the mirror and subdivision modifiers, which will be explained later. The main disadvantage of this solution is that there will be a huge number of polygons and you would have to retopologize the model after sculpting. You would have to create a plane, mirror it and then make everything from scratch. So that's why I don't suggest you to do sculpting, especially if you want the entire model to be a sculptor. The best solution to make a character is by making the base model from only one shape. The final result will contain much less polygons and will be much easier to apply textures and even animate with the rigging armature. All these things will be explained in other videos. So, let's go to character modeling. To begin with character modeling, you need to add a cube. Now, you should go to edit mode. Use Ctrl R for adding edge loops and Ctrl B to bevel vertices. These two shortcuts are used for the first step, defining the head of the character. On the head I will model the eyes. According to my reference image, these are the faces that I have to extrude. Extrude simply by pressing E on your keyboard and make sure to turn on X symmetry by going here in order to make the left and right face move at the same time. 
use the proportional setting tool if you want to move various parts of the model without manually selecting them. Or you can press O on your keyboard to access it more easily. This tool is useful if you want a smoother look of the mesh. If you want to add some facial details, you can extrude any part of the mesh. I would like to show you what happens when you extrude those two faces. Here's what you get. Some two antennas of the robot, which is my character. If you don't want two antennas, you can use only one and extrude it to get this kind of look. If you are done modeling the head, you can model the entire body. The body can be modeled simply by extruding, scaling, moving and doing all the things that I explained in some of my previous videos. So, to avoid making this video very long, I would speed up the process of modeling just to show you how you can make everything look like the final result. Ok, so this is the final result, but I still have some things that I would like to share with you. First of all, I have copied the reference simply by pressing Shift D and I had to move it like this. Why is this important? Because if you have the reference image on the side, you can easily manipulate with the faces and the entire mesh. You can also move the parts in order to match them easily with the right side. Use E on your keyboard to extrude. Make sure that you use S in order to scale and click and drag here to get two views. This will make it easier to manipulate with the model in front and side views. Well, using the shortcuts you can watch me model this character. And here's how it will look like. I just needed to move these things because I don't need those boxes. If you want to model arms and legs, don't do it like this. It wouldn't feel practical to extrude and scale those faces every time. If you want to extrude any part of the mesh without needing to select both faces, you need to do this. Select one half of the model and delete it and then add the mirror modifier to the X axis. Now, when you try to model your character with the mirror modifier, it will extrude on the left side. Great job! When you try to model hands, you should simply do it manually by scaling and extruding according to the reference. Now you have to move them in order to match with the reference image. Sometimes you would need to move the vertices manually by selecting them and also add edge loops. If you encounter something like this, make sure to set the X location of every edge to zero. Simply by going here. Sometimes there are so many edges that you have to move to zero. So, you should check every edge and set location to zero. Now you can extrude and you won't have any problems. Now you should follow the reference and model the rest of the model. For the legs, I have made some part that will be used as an extrusion. Now you should use the right reference to scale it without proportion. Here's how it looks like in all angles. You should extrude this part and scale it to match with the reference. Now you should extrude this face to begin modeling the legs. This part would be much easier. You just have to follow the reference image and everything will be fine. Just scale, add edge loops and it would be straightforward to make the legs. As you can see, I have tried to match the reference, but it isn't really perfect. 
it is very close to the reference. So you don't have to make your model look identical. You can try to make it feel more accurate to the reference. And here is the final base model of the character. This model still needs a lot of work, like texturing, rigging and animating, in order to be functional. I have been making 3D characters for both games and animation projects. And all I can say is that robots are the easiest characters for me to make, because I prefer more simplified anatomy. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. You can play with the faces, vertices and edges, add more details and even add the subdivision surface to make the entire model look smoother. There will be more tutorials for character design, 3D modeling and game development in the future. Stay tuned and have a good day!